Hello and welcome back to the Fire Emblem playthrough. Me, the Jelly Monkey, and me, Sven the Crusader. Last time, a ballister has come rolling in, so now we've got to spend an entire mission based around that. Yeah, uh, bolt dodging, basically. Yeah, and it's also around this point where I've just realised that if Rap has an iron bow, it's because I didn't give Will any weapons. <laughs> so he's going to have to go and buy some. <laughs> Yeah, I'm mean to my archers in the Fire and Moon games, to be honest. I... I... I can tell. <laughs> and... Yeah, one other thing you might want to get used to for this part is that whenever... Most of the time, if there seems like a random cut, don't worry, you haven't missed anything. I'm just moving units from one space to another, which gets dull very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's pretty hard to think of those entertaining stories every time someone moves. <laughs> yeah. So, pretty much we're just focusing only on the action, the fights. And... Yeah, I'm trying to think, think of something else to say now, but... Oh, Jesus God, we're supposed to avoid this by coming up there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I could have just... I could have made a very improper Lance joke there, but I figured I wouldn't. Yeah. Actually, there's one very improper Lance joke which may, <laughs> may come up a little later. But anyway, um, yeah, basically, um, in case we didn't explain it last part, banisters are essentially long-range weapons. They they can attack from like a, a radius of, I think it's 15 spaces, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, they can get very annoying very quickly as they're usually powerful enough to take out your more weaker units of one hit, so... Yeah. I still love that that's the only excuse Sane will ever get to tell a woman to stay off the battlefield. Yeah, so... Sane is, uh... From Arena, the Pegasus Knights are generally weak towards, um... Uh, arrows, which a baluster is, essentially. Uh, you... Yeah, you can't use her, which is annoying, because I really would like to use her in the map like this, but never mind. <laughs> it is a very, very huge map. Sometimes I just take her in and put her out of range until the ballista's done with. Yeah, that might actually be a set well thing to do. I'll put, should have done that, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh well, the gave a chance for Will to appear, even though, to be honest, uh, he doesn't do an awful lot, because, like I said, I, don't, I have a tendency to dislike archers in Fire Emblem. I well, they are extremely difficult to level up. Yeah. To be honest, like, the only one I've ever actually used is a um, shit in on when I used to be Radiant Dawn, and that's about it. <laughs> well, that that may be partially due to the fact that he's also a badass, despite being a major jackass. <laughs> yep, that could have something to do. <laughs> <laughs> and as if this went out of, but... Sorry, went, out of went out of commentary. Oh, just fall back on talking about the other games. <laughs> yep, that's, that's what it is. Ah, finally, there's something else to talk about here. Um, this guy's giving us a Lance Weaver, which is essentially a weapon that reverses the triangle, so that instead of being weak against lances like normal, this is a sword that is strong against lances. I'm not quite sure how it works, though. <laughs> yeah, the mechanics behind it are a bit uh, dodgy, but yeah. hey, we're not complaining. Yeah. The only thing I can think of is that it's something that has something on it to capture the um, lance in it, like a hook or just a very gaping hole bit in the middle. I don't know. Yeah, they've never really explained that. Hmm. I it's, guess it's one of those things where you're supposed to say "game loss" and throw your hands up. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, actually, probably the end. Uh, the um, Swords can actually beat the lances if you're just smart enough to get past the point, because once you've actually avoided the um, pokey metal bit, it's just a long stick when you <laughs> <laughs> that, that is true. That That's very true, actually. Yeah. Although, having said that, as someone who's attempted to do it in real life, it's not as easy as, easy as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a lance weaver is just something to make that easier. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> lance, meat face. <laughs> Yeah, Ted just skewered his eye out, don't I? 
Yeah, the, the Cavaliers are probably the most brutal class in the series. Yeah. Either that or Assassin's, one of the two. Although, then again, it's just more implied. <laughs> yeah. Actually, thinking about it, I think Sage just forced that soldier to swallow his lance, but... Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's an image no one wants to focus on for very long. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, speaking of imagery that's very improper, force someone to swallow your ugh. Ugh. Why did I have to bring that? Up? Well, oh, jeez, you had to take it that one step further, didn't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have that mind. Ugh. Right, uh... Okay, finally, we can just get rid of this banister. Oh, that's always satisfying. Yeah, because they can't retaliate, that's fun. Oh, yes. Three, two, one. Um, where are you going? There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, I kind of deviated with that last attack thing, so... <laughs> Threw my timing off. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> now, speaking of brutal animations, headshot! Yeah. For some reason, everyone likes to go for a headshot in this game. Yeah. Well, apart from that's Lynn, my... who... That's Sorry. a splitting headache. <laughs> yeah. Apart from, from Lynn, who seems to enjoy going very, very low. <laughs> yeah. That's way below the belt. Uh, yeah. literally. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh... <laughs> Wow, I never thought of it in that light until this commentary, until this commentary series. But dear, dear God, she she has a penchant for castration. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I think this entire commentary is uh, ruining the innocence of a lot of people who listen to. <laughs> well, that's presuming that most of them have innocence, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> you never know with people on the internet. You really don't. That is true. <laughs> And again, force them to swallow. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's even worse whenever you cut out the lance part. <laughs> oh, well, whatever, whatever, whatever innocence I had left is ruined. I don't know about yours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dear God, may something else happen. Anything to get our minds away from this very, very deep... Ah, there we go! Uh, like I said, um... Every si uh, this game is uh, about tutorial about two not this game this level is a tutorial about two things the first is balisters like we mentioned before the second is the whole weapon reverse triangle weapon enemy because um, every single enemy that comes out of this fortress has a weapon that reverses the triangle so as you see saw there that mercenary had a lance weaver which means we were buggered yes Zane was our wow poor Zane he was our test monkey. Yeah. <laughs> he took a massive, massive beating. <laughs> Although, thankfully, we've got... Back to finish him off like so. Barbecue. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm feeling particularly random today. Yeah. <laughs> well... Ra random's better than dirty, frankly. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. I think we're both a bit guilty of that one. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Dorcas is not going to be very effective against this knight since he has an axe reaver, so I'm just going to leave him here and deal with that bandit over there who has a sword reaver, which, as you probably guess right now, is effective against swords. I don't know how or... Yeah, it doesn't look particularly light, so it doesn't look like it could counter that easily, so... Uh... Yeah. I have no idea. And here, here we go. This is Will's big moment. He finally gets to do something. And there we go. Wow, epic. <laughs> yeah, and to make it even worse, the um, other guy used up all the bolts, so he could only do... <laughs> oh, poor Will. Yeah. That's the one other annoying thing about Ballisters, they only have five shots and Sod's Law, the enemy will use up all of them before you can get even use them. Yeah, so in this map we really don't have an opportunity to show off our <clears throat> willpower. Yeah. 
do 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 That was <laughs> Yeah. At so yeah, we'll it, just let At least it was a Lance joke. <laughs> yeah. And, so anyway, yeah, this guy's an Ash Weaver, and let him can kick his ass, and so there we go. And I just and realized you, And not even use a super super effective weapon. <laughs> yeah. And I've just realized that guy was named Yogi. Uh huh. Yeah, he's not your average bear. <laughs> -da 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 <laughs> that's two. Well, that's, oh. uh, that's, the, that's the only thing you can think of though after you hear the name Yogi. <laughs> yeah, it makes it even. What's even worse is the other part that uh, uh, when I was um, back in a uh, school, oh, we had to do an essay about how to. Um, historical figures, I decided to write about um, the adventure of the television, but unfortunately I had to keep avoiding Yogi Bear joke because his name was John Logie Bear. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I, could, I would not have been able to resist. Yeah. I admire your willpower. <laughs> Speaking of willpower. Yeah. <laughs> Enough of your our bad puns. There's a serious moment going on. Can't you hear the music? <laughs> oh, we're we're just punning our way over the solemn announcement that the mark the mark I don't know how to pronounce that has been poisoned. Yeah, and not Ungrid is evil. In case you haven't guessed that already. Yeah, in case the cutscenes weren't blatant enough. Yeah. The upshot of this is that a lot of people guessed it as that um, uh, they're poisoned, but um, Lundgren has also sent out rumors that two traitorous knights like, so, um, be I mean, are carrying these. So sorry. Oh, for crying out loud, my language! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, basically. Right, Lundgren sent out rumors that Lit it is not actually the Marquess's daughter. Okay, there we go. I said it. I said it. <laughs> well, if all else fails, you could have just let Matthew say it. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're now framed for a crime they didn't commit. Insert your own A-team jokes here. <laughs> and uh, I note that that was probably the. M I note that that was probably the most worked up wheel we, we will ever see, Kent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only time I then get angry or enraged is when someone calls him a traitor. <laughs> hmm. Whenever you put it in character perspective, that actually makes sense. Yeah. This is uh, the only yeah. time you will ever use. This is the only time you'll ever see him use three exclamation points. That is also true. <laughs> so yeah, we're now going to call on reinforcements of Eddie Wood. So until next time, that was me, the Jelly Monkey. And Mies Femme Crusader, sorry for your innocence, people. <laughs>